I love biology. And I think this is what every other neat aspirant has to say. Why wouldn't we? It's interesting. And every time I learn about the human body, something new, I'm completely amazed, leaving the big terminologies aside. So is bio important? Yes, it is. 50% of the weightage is for biology alone. The entire crux of the medical field is completely dependent upon bio. It's easy to crack, it's interesting, we love the subject. No numerical, no derivation, no logarithm, no application. Direct MCQs. Sometimes they are exactly from the NCRT line. So what makes it difficult? What makes cracking 360 marks in bio so difficult? Vast syllabus, very, very vast syllabus, 38 chapters. There are so many medical terminology, so many scientists, so many cycles, so many flowcharts to remember, comprehend and apply it for the, egg, for the MCQs. That's what makes bio difficult. So how do we crack it and get 360 in bio then? Let's check it step by step. So first things first, NCRT, that's your holy scriptures. You need the NCRT and follow the NCRT alone. So you need the 11th NCRT, the 12th NCRT and also make it a point to go through the NCRT exemplar problems. There are some good questions from that as well. Other than this, you need past NEET papers and few more practice and mock papers to do. This is sufficient to crack 360 in the NEET. But maybe when you're sitting to do the practice paper, since all the questions are jumbled up, it could get a little confusing, it could get a little messy. So to avoid that, you could have one MCQ book. So MCQ book is basically to get chapter wise access of the question. It could be any MCQ book. So once you're done reading the chapter, solve one one chapter of these MCQ books. Any MCQ book is okay. As I said, we will list down some recommended MCQ book in the description below. So first, when you sit to read the chapter, underline the important thing, highlight the important thing. The meaning of the words that you do not understand, make it a point to write the meaning there. Read as much as possible. The next thing that you will do, as soon as you're done reading a particular chapter or done understanding a particular concept, immediately sit to make notes for those particular chapters. So note making is an effective way to remember and to comprehend what you've learned. So you've learned a particular concept, read about it two, three times and start making the notes. Maybe to make the notes in more simpler languages, language you will have to see some videos you'll have to see some documentary maybe read again go through the same passage again and again but that's good right now it might sound a little tedious and lengthy but if you start doing it you will like the practice you will understand much much better you will try to make the notes as simple as possible in that way you'll remember and you'll comprehend for longer make as colorful as possible keep it precise mention everything important to that particular concept so don't sit and waste days in making a particular chapter note you're not being awarded for that two days one day one day sufficient to make one particular chapter in the description i'm going to link few handwritten notes for your reference also make sure you hit the bell icon and subscribe to us so that you get the notification every time we put up some new video or some blog content so bio is all about flowcharts, there's going to be a lot of cycles, a lot of scientist names to remember. So make sure you're having two different notebooks. So when you sit to study, as soon as you come across the name of a scientist, underline that and immediately transfer it to one of your notebooks. Write the name of the scientist, write what he's researched or what is the accomplishment that he's done. Next time, again, continue with your reading. You come across another scientist, write it back in your notebook. And at the end of the day, take 10 minutes to glance through the names and the accomplishment of all the scientists. This is all that you need to do. 10 minutes of reading and glancing through the names of the scientists. You do not have to invest any separate time to do that. 10 minutes is sufficient. Even if you start from today, make sure you're doing it repeatedly every day, 10, 10 minutes till the examination day. Now, cycles, flowcharts and diagram that is also important so have a different book for that in that particular book draw the diagram draw the flowchart the cycles very neatly as colorful as possible put down all the enzyme the important names the important terms everything 
so prepare another book for that like that now in a week a lot six things for you two diagrams two flow charts and two cycles six things allotted for one particular week every day do these six things again and again so you do everything today tomorrow again you will draw it practice it the next day again you will draw it practice it next day again you will do it's okay if you see and do it but for six days consistently make sure you are practicing it on a regular basis next week pick up something six more different things maybe two another diagrams two different cycles and something other flow charts so this is how you will practice on a daily on a weekly basis you definitely do not have to remove extra additional time for this 10 minutes of reading and glancing through the scientist name and six cycles uh, six cycle diagram and flow charts together in a weekly basis so prioritize what needs to be done so this is how you will practice precise not random keep doing this repeatedly make sure you are doing it at the right time and you are doing it right at the very first time and the last thing is testing testing is important so the last 5 months is going to be reserved for writing test and solving past question papers so the first 3 months you'll allot your time in writing the test taking some chapter wise test taking some mock test and the last 2 months you're going to practice and practice only solved and past uh, past neat question papers so 80% of your time should be in solving the papers 20% of your time should be in analyzing your mistakes analyzing what mistakes you've done learning and relearning them and optimizing it as much as possible so every day one question paper this is how you're going to get to that 360 marks in bio even when you're taking your test solving the mock papers do not forget to read the chapters every day a lot two chapters to be read a lot chapters to be read two chapters daily those scientist names 10 minutes for reading the scientist names six charts or diagrams or flow charts every day do not forget doing that even when you're taking your test and the mock papers consistency is everything keep doing space repetition so that you can comprehend what you've studied and retain it for longer so this is it how to get 360 marks for your neat examination you have the magic mantra with you right now so i can write and give it to you if you follow this particular strategy the techniques the methods mentioned in this particular video you will surely have 360 marks in your pocket so make sure you check the description there are a lot of free content and free resources we will meet again in the next video until then take good care